lovelies, so it is that time of year, we're at the end of 2018, finally, or the start of 2019, whenever you're watching this. So I wanted to show you guys my favourite products that I've come across in 2018. I've used these well. <laughs> and so just to give you a bit of context, everything that I am showing you is cruelty free, it's vegan, it's also Logical Harmony approved. So I've got oily skin, I've got large pores, I've got problematic skin, and I am 29 years old, so... You know, I'm starting to not have as much collagen as I used to. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to be covering a whole bunch of topics. So yeah, but let's just get started with it. I've got this split into segments, which I'll have timestamped down below for you to make things easier. So I'm going to be covering off makeup. I'll be doing that first because I know that's of a very high interest. Then skincare, then hair care, and then body care. And also, I want to cover off some of my favorite vegan YouTubers as well, because I've got a few that I really think you guys should know about and follow. Starting off with makeup, we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Now, this is probably the most boring part, but I think it is absolutely essential. That is primer. So I've got a high-end one and a low-end one. So if you also have oily skin like me, I really do recommend the Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Face Primer in Matte. I find that this works really, really well throughout the day. And um, like the finish on it, it really does just like automatically mattify your foundation when you put that on top. And I, I really like this. It's a very cheap, very good deal. The other one is Cover FX. This is a mattifying primer with salicylic acid. I tend to favor this one just because of the salicylic acid properties, especially with my problematic skin. I don't break out with either of them any more than I normally do, and I really like them. This one is obviously a hell of a lot more expensive, but they're both very, very good products. Next up, foundation. This will be a shock to absolutely nobody out there. It is Wet n Wild. Again, photo focus foundation. These are around about six to seven bucks, which is amazing amazing and I love them. They go really really matte on your skin. They don't produce flashback. It provides a medium to high coverage. It's buildable. I've actually done a review on it which I'll link down below for you as well. Love them. Okay, concealer time. So when it comes to covering up spots and you want something that is cheap in comparison to the high-end one, I also recommend Wet n Wild. This is not sponsored. I bought everything myself, I promise you. But the Wet n Wild, these are the Photo Focus Concealers. They're around about four to seven US dollars, somewhere around there. I don't, I'm not in the US, I'm in New Zealand. But they are very cheap. The coverage of them, like they're buildable. It's kind of like a medium coverage, but they're also really, really good. If I wanted to get a way more full coverage, I would be using this tattoo lady herself. This is by Kat Von D and it's a Locket Tattoo Concealer. So I know that this I've used previously, but in 2018, I've definitely really been able to notice a difference with it. And um, this, you just get much higher pigmentation coverage. It sets a lot faster than these ones do, so that's something worth noting. But I love the coverage. And what I like to do with this one, I use this to cut my crease. I use this under my eyes as well. Um, so I use that in the shade L1. But to get my skin tone, um, I always mix the shades L9 and L5 to be able to cover up spots and I find that it works beautifully with a beauty blender. And something I've recently come across, if you are on more of a budget for your under eyes, this is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. And for my skin tone, I use the shade Fair 06 for doing under eyes. I don't like this for covering up spots, but I do like the, you know, like nice creamy lighter formula for doing under eyes and it, I find it doesn't really crease too much. I find it just provides a really nice coverage and I use it over the top of my um, Pixi. Um, but I use this over the top of my Pixi by Petra Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach, which by the way is an amazing product and I'll also be adding this to my favorites list. This cancels out the blue under your eyes and if you're pale and you're finding that any of those salmon colored ones don't work, buy this one. It is so unbelievably good. Eyeshadow palettes, this is a point of contention because there are a lot out there. There are a lot of really, really good ones. So the one I've been using the heck out of, even though it is a recent purchase, is the Nabla Cosmetics Dreamy Palette. And oh, I love it so much. I've got my first impressions video, including swatches. And again, you'll be able to find that on my channel. The colors are so wearable and beautiful. I just hate delirium. It's a terrible formula, terrible, just, it's awful. Everything else 
incredible. I love, love, love these shadows. They're really pigmented. Like, the metallic ones go on so nicely and provide, like, it's almost like, especially with Vanitas and with Immaculate, they're like duochrome. And the other ones, they're so buttery. And when it comes to the other shades, like the matte ones, they aren't patchy, they're not chalky, they're nicely pigmented without being too pigmented, so there's no fallout. I love them. If you're on a budget and you only want to spend $10 on a really, really good palette, e.l.f. Cosmetics. I've used this so much this year. This is the Summer Breeze Matte for Matte palette. And ugh, even though I've been using it heavily, I mean, like, you can see there's not really much, like, in terms of, like, the concaveness, like, there is so much product in here for $10. The one shade in this one that is terrible is the lightest shade. Um, everything else, they are beautiful colors. I particularly love this aubergine one. It looks stunning on the eyes. It brings out any green in your eyes. These shades work for every single skin tone, and if you're after just, like, a nice matte neutral palette, this is really good. In terms of blush, my favorite one for the year, because I'm, I'm really trying to limit myself, it is by Colourpop, and this is the shade Romcom. Now, I'm not wearing this right now because I'm wearing a slightly more peachy color, but this shade, it looks super, super bold, super strong, but it is so lovely. It's kind of like a... It's, it's an apricot sort of shade, and it's not too um, loud on my skin. That You just build it up slowly, and it's a beautiful shade. Out of all of the blushes that I've got, I reached for this one the most. That's why it is the winner for 2018. I have discovered a new contour powder that I love, by the way, um, which I'm wearing today, but I'm wearing a combination of them. Because this is by Nabla. Again, I wear the shade Gotham the most. This is great if you are cool toned and also pale. Recommend this one. Otherwise, Cameo. It's got a slightly warmer undertone, but it is a lovely, lovely contour powder. Like, the consistency of them is so good. They're not too in your face pigmented. They're easily blendable and they work wonderfully. Really do recommend these ones. Next, I want to get on to our luscious lips. And when it comes to this, so I can't whittle it down exactly. So I'm going to kind of go by category. In terms of a liquid lipstick, I've got two. Again, it's really hard to choose. It depends on your mood. So these are both by Colourpop. The first one is Take 5 and the next one is Fresh Cut. And I've used these quite a few times, but I'll just do a quick swatch for you. Take 5 is this beautiful shade. It's a bit darker, it's a little bit deeper, and um, it's a wonderful winter color, especially for pale skin. I find that this color just goes so well with any burgundies that you're wearing, um, basically any color that you're wearing, really. And then Fresh Cut, this pink is kind of like roses. <laughs> so, you know, like when you've just gone to the garden, gotten some roses. So that is fresh cut and it's oh, like, it wears really, really well. Um, my one problem with Colourpop, obviously these are, uh, you know, like they're cheap. They're about $6 each. So they don't last the longest in terms of like once you've opened them. I'd probably say like the optimum amount of time that you'd want to own a Colourpop liquid lipstick would be around about the six to eight month mark and then you'd be throwing it away because think of it kind of like a lip gloss you know like as well as for hygienic reasons you're constantly dipping that thing in and out and it's just like you're putting bacteria from here to there to the and it's just, you know and then also I find that once you get past that point like they tend to get a lot more flaky and just not as good so I really like these within that six month mark is like the sweet spot. I do like the color Alyssa by them as well but I'd say these two really do stand out to me. And with regular bullet lipsticks I've got three. So the first one is the one that I'm wearing today so this is Big Break and it's by Colourpop again. I've been really loving the stuff that Colourpop have been coming out with. So. On first glance, you might think it is actually very similar to Fresh Cut, but it's lighter. It's like a light pinky mauve, and it's really, really flattering on cool, pale skin tones. Actually, I think that this would work well on most skin tones. It's really beautiful. The next one is Paparazzi, and you'll have noticed when I've worn this one, because it kind of makes any blue in your eyes stand out more. It's like an orange-based shade, 
but it's 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 difficult to explain exactly where it falls but that color it's it's got such a wonderful pop to it without being too obnoxious like it's still neutral enough to comfortably wear but it's it's a vibrant at the same time and just universally flattering like I really love that color the final one is from Kat Von D this is one of the studded kiss lipsticks and this is in the shade double dare again you'll have seen me wear this one a lot because I really love it it's got a base of like it's got a base of like a muted red and it's that final color down here and I find that this w works wonderfully on pale to medium skin tones. I would say it's probably best for this. It's a very universally flattering color. It's not cool tone, warm tone. It is neutral and it just, it looks beautiful on the skin. So you can see like they're all fairly neutral shades that I've picked, but I find like these are the five ones I've reached for the most throughout the whole year. When it comes to highlighter, there is just one. This is by Colourpop and this is the shade Flexitarian. So I'm wearing this one today. I mean like you see that shine, that shimmer, and that glow, yeah. Um, it took me a little while to get used to this formula. I'm just going to have a swatch hand. I'm sorry, it's just going to be a lot just gonna be able to deal with it but um, that shift it's such a cool toned champagne I want to actually get more of these Colourpop ones so for me um, like the makeup geek ones she's not really doing them anymore because I love luster but she doesn't sell it now and then other products that she's coming out with they're not really vegan so like she's got a limited range of vegan items and I'm like well in order to make the effort of buying from makeup geek I normally tend to do a bundle and the range just isn't really that inspiring to me so that's why I'm saying Colourpop like they're pulling out the bag a whole bunch so that's why I'm really appreciating this stuff and that shine is that is just amazing and so I'm wearing it today and what I find is the best technique to actually apply this one is to use a circular motion when you're applying it and it's beautiful I have also heard really good things about the Jeffree Star ones so if you've used them please comment and let me know down below because I kind of want to see what that would be like as well now finally to set your face um, first off, you're gonna need a powder, right? I mean, like, if you are someone like me and you have oily skin, you gotta have a powder. If you've seen any video of mine ever, or seen me on Instagram ever, you'll know that this has been mentioned every time because it is phenomenal. I haven't found a better one. But when it comes to setting powders for the whole face, you can't go past Cover FX. This is the matte setting powder and just the shade light. It comes in the darker shade as well. I love the effect that this gives. It keeps my skin kind of matte for, I would say about nine hours, which is amazing when you've got skin like me. And it's it's so good, it's finely milled, it's not chunky and it's non-reflective on the skin. You just get a wonderful finish, even on my textured skin. So I love this so much. I was looking for alternatives to what was my favorite setting powder, which was the Locket setting powder for under the eyes, because you know, when you're doing a dramatic look, you gotta bake under there, right? So I bought the ColourPop, this is a no filter setting powder in the color translucent. So to set my whole face, mm -mm, nope, it is rubbish. But for under the eyes, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. Again, it's finely milled and I find that it's so easy to just sweep away. It's it's just really, really good, affordable formula. I was like, this is probably about $9 and there's a good chunk of product in here. It's got 8.5 grams, so that's a decent amount. I know the container looks small, but I found that this has worked amazing for baking under the eyes. Now, finally, the last step when it comes to makeup, you gotta set that face with some spray and that's where these two come in. So the lid for this is elsewhere. Let me just pop you on. Just taking the fluff aside because of the house that we live in, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus matte setting spray and this works really well like i use this in terms of like my everyday sort of face um but when it comes to more special occasion stuff this is the high-end one and this is cover effects mattifying setting spray it is so 
good you guys so it's got some clay in there as well so it kind of absorbs moisture throughout the day so then you don't get um, that oil coming through because clay automatically just sucks it up and that is what makes this so effective I love it so so much which is why after I finally used up my sample size, I bought this. Oh, I can't not mention my makeup brushes. Now I know these have been used because I filmed this look today. If you want to see how to create this, what I'm calling a New Year's Eve look, I will either list that down below if it's up already, otherwise just subscribe to my channel and you'll see it when it comes out. But these are the MOTD Cosmetics brushes and I bought these at the start of the year and they've still been going strong. I love the way that they apply product. Like seriously, like the only one of the brush set that I haven't used is this one. The rest of them I have lovingly used and you'll have seen any picture that I've put on Instagram throughout the year, anything that I've put on YouTube, I've been using these brushes and they are so good. They're all synthetic, they're quite luxe feeling. I actually also mentioned them in my gift guide as well so I've got a few more details there but I, I honestly can't recommend these brushes more highly. And finally to round off like kind of the beauty category, this is perfume. So I've only bought one this year but it's been amazing. This is from Lush. You'll have seen me post about this on Instagram as well. Um, it's just beautiful and I love the story behind it. Um, it's called What Would Love Do? And so... <laughs> I love what they've got on the back of here as well. So obviously this is um, cruelty free, it's vegan, um, it's all ethically made, which I love. Um, and so this one, it says, love would brighten the world with tangerine and lavender, always ready to find the sun from behind a cloud. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it too. It smells like you're a sexy fairy in a forest of flowers and it's just, I, both Brandon and I love lavender and it's a wonderful, wonderful perfume. Now we are on to skincare. Going for brand by brand, we're going to start from the steps that you do to take off your makeup all the way to looking after it. So first off, this is the Dermot... Oh, it's cat fluff again! Why? So first off, this is a Dermot E Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil and... I love the way that this removes makeup from your face. It's it doesn't smell. Um, it's you just kind of work it into your skin, and you obviously get this grey mess, but it picks up everything. Even though I wear really really heavy makeup, this works beautifully. Love it. And also when you're cleansing your face, you gotta wash it right. So these are the two that I've been using this year. So we've got the Derma E Even Tone Brightening Cleanser. I like to use this one at night time. It's got licorice extract with uh, vitamin B3 and C. And I, I really like the effect that this has in terms of working on um, my acne scarring because obviously I've got it and I found that this has actually made you know a difference when combined with another product I'm going to mention in a moment but the one that I like to use in the morning is the very clear acne cleanser because this has got salicylic acid in it and I just find it's really really good when you are um, starting the day you know after you've slept all night and then you just got this icky stuff on your face I like to start my day using this one with the salicylic acid. Um, the next product that I love to use is the um, spot treatment that they've got. I love it so much, however it's been sold out on iHerb for ages, so I haven't been able to get my claws on it and I've noticed such a difference in my skin by not having that because I've gotten more breakouts and when I get them normally I'll just apply this and within a few days they'll be like mostly at bay but now there's just no stopping them and it's like oh it's painful so that is one product I seriously love and um, I'll have it down below as well you need to know about it if you also suffer from adult acne because it sucks the next product is taking care of these peepers and this is the dim ear firming DMAE I left with peptides and vitamin B3 um Okay, so this I adore. <laughs> it is so good as an eye cream. I wear this underneath my makeup and also to bed at night. I put on a thicker layer when I'm going to bed, obviously. And then when I wake up in the morning, I can still feel that it is like nourishing my skin. And that makes such a difference. It is 
it's it's a wonderful wonderful product and I seriously do recommend getting this one now another thing I like to apply at night time this is the Derma E vitamin C concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid um, and vitamin C if you didn't know is really good for lightening um, any dark areas on your skin it takes really really good care of your skin and I've noticed that when I've used this especially on my cheeks where I've got most of my scarring it's it's helped to lighten them and also hyaluronic acid is incredibly um, oh what's the word it helps to lock in moisture in your skin um, without it escaping and it's really good I've used their plain hyaluronic acid but I prefer this one so stick into skincare once you've washed your face um, I jumped on the bandwagon and I tried a small size of this one and then I fell in love with it this is the Pixi Glow Tonic with 5% glycolic acid. It's the exfoliating toner. I love the way that this makes my skin feel. It kind of like goes down into your skin to um, exfoliate. You know what I mean? It It's so good. I, I, I can't speak of it highly enough and a whole bunch of other people have spoken about it really highly. I can see why. The next product I love, which I use every day, this is the Mad Hippie. And this is the face cream and it's got 15 actives with peptides, acai, argan oil and reservatrol. I can't pronounce it but that's the packaging so you can see. <laughs> um, it is, I find that this doesn't make my skin more oily. It's still, because it's important to still moisturize your face even if you've got oily skin. So I, I it works wonderfully with my makeup. It doesn't disturb anything, it nourishes my skin and I notice the difference when I'm not using it and that's a good sign of um, a product working well. So that's all for skincare, let's get on to hair care and I've recently come across this one, this is the Pacifica Salty Waves Shampoo. Now I've really really enjoyed using this, um, I've found that when I use this my hair has got more volume, it's kind of lighter, it's, it's a bit clarifying without being too clarifying so it's got so it's got sea algae, banana and chia and it's got no sulfates in it and it's suitable for all hair types. Um, I, I just really really like, and it smells like bananas by the way, so it's got this kind of like wonderful um, beachy sort of feel about it and I really really enjoy the way that it works with my hair. My hair I find that I can still um, brush it through fine afterwards because I always use a tangle teaser um, after having a shower and I go through my hair methodically. Um, I have been trying out so many hair products this year to try and find really good ones so that's how I know that this is amazing because I can't even list the amount of bottles that I've gone through when it comes to hair products. Like honestly, finding cruelty free and vegan hair care for fine hair that gets oily but then is also dry and coloured, it's really difficult you guys. So I love this one. It works wonderfully for me and the smell kind of like lingers and I just, I adore it. This is included in the third step as well which I've actually just left in the bathroom because I'm still using it. Um, these are obviously new products with the tape on them. Um, so these are the Giovanni and it is the wellness system. So it's the, I think that they, yeah, so I always call this the Chinese botanicals one. Um, so the thing with this one, it doesn't smell all that great, but it is so helpful for your hair. My hair has made such a comeback from being really, really damaged when I used to use Clairol to dye it by using my Tints of Nature stuff and using this as well. I went through a period of time where I used solely this and I found it made a difference, but then I like to change things up for my hair because it's good to make sure your hair doesn't get used to something. Same with skincare. Um, and I've I've just really, really enjoyed the way that this has worked out. So I, I do recommend these a lot, including the third step. So the third step, because I've used the shampoo today, I've just let it air dry and this is the effect you get. So as you can see, my hair is still really shiny. I just uh, brush it for you to show you. I mean, look at that shine on my hair. It's it's amazing. So, um, especially for blonde hair that is color treated, I just find this shampoo is incredible as well. So, those have been my two favorites that I've actually come across this year. And when it comes to a treatment for your hair, again by Giovanni. So this is the hair reconstructor. So this is for deeply hydrating, critically damaged hair. Um, so this one is a protein one. Um, and I've also 
used and really loved using um, the Tints of Nature hydrating one. So I, I like to try and mix between the two, um, but it's obviously just because I've got this one here right now. I, I, I really enjoy using this. Um, it's so nice um, on your hair and afterwards you can just brush through it really well. And I found that my hair has been the healthiest it's been all year by actually just trying all these different products out and um, using a mask weekly. Seriously recommend that. The final hair product is something that I totally forgot to include. This is the Pacifica Island Hair Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. I use this on my hair every day and um, when I walk past people, you know when you can tell that someone's like, you know, but in a good way. <laughs> like, I've gotten compliments on this, obviously from the girls I work with because it would be weird for a guy to be like, I like the way your hair smells, you know what I mean? Um, but this, it just smells, oh, I kind of want to spray it now. Oh, it's like... It's like candy vanilla amazingness. It, I haven't found it's damaged my hair at all. I haven't found it's left any nasty residue on it. It just smells like happiness and I seriously recommend getting that. My last hair care product, because you're not meant to wash your hair every day. I love the Pacifica Invisible Powers Dry Shampoo. It took me a little while to get used to using this, but uh, if you've seen my review of all life. I've gone through a lot of different dry shampoos, let's say. Um, I find that this one is my favourite cruelty free and vegan one. It um, doesn't uh, create like a major white cast on your hair, it smells really nice, picks up the oil well and it looks very natural um, and I just love it. Now for body care. So Bon Bon, um, they're body wash whips. Um, I buy these for myself, I buy these as gifts. They are made here in New Zealand and they are cruelty free, they're vegan, they smell like food, like like yummy food though. So think of birthday cake, think of creme brulee. The other ones that I love for the shower, um, I would say easily would go to the Christmas collection by Lush. Um, I actually got, like my best friend got me some stuff from them uh, for Christmas. Um, so Snow Fairy, like I mentioned in my gift guide, um, like that body wash, it's amazing glittery goodness. They also have a solid form of it as well if you want to reduce your plastic. And of course, um, my body lotions, Snow Fairy. Um, let me just open this for you. Ah. It's, oh God, excuse me whilst I just sniff this for 10 minutes. It is literally like a candy floss fairy and it is so good and it's actually nourishing for your skin it's not just like one of those things it's like oh it smells really nice no no this is good for your skin same as I love the sleepy lotion if you can't sleep like I can't in winter in particular I struggle with that which is strange because it's darker for longer and finally we're on to the youtubers so I <laughs> when it comes to YouTube I tend to watch like more film channels and like funny things like that but there are some vegan channels that I've come across that I've found incredibly useful incredibly inspiring so I wanted to share them with you as well the first one she's probably um, famous for being kind of like Marmite you love her or you hate her um, it's unnatural vegan now she is like Swayze is like She's an incredibly factual kind of person. Um, she uses science and she bases things off science and she uses reputable sources and she researches other YouTubers that have come up with these weird ass claims and she deep dives onto like into it like properly from a scientific standpoint and that's what I really appreciate about her. The next two are a lot more makeup related so obviously Logical Harmony I talk about her all the time because that is the best resource that I've got when it comes to um, finding out um, which makeup company is cruelty free, vegan and who's owned by a parent company that tests our animals as well. Like I trust her opinion more than I do when it comes to the Leaping Bunny because she communicates directly with each of the companies um, that that she wants to, well, that people want her to add to the cruelty free and vegan list. Um, sorry, just the cruelty free list. She also has on the website which companies are completely vegan and she also has like which products are vegan. It's just, it's so, so handy um, and I, I trust her 
implicitly when it comes to this stuff. The next channel is of course Rianne um, or Wife Life, whatever you want to call her. I love the way that she has tackled mental health this year. It's been amazing. She does great product reviews uh, for vegan items and it's just like the makeup, the ethical focus that she has on her channel is really inspiring. And she's got kind of like this really wry, dry humor that I honestly appreciate. So if you want like a YouTube channel to follow that's not like super, hi guys, like really in your face, um, all the three that I've previously listed, they'll all be amazing for you. The next channel that I really do want to recommend is of course The Vegan View. Now they are new to YouTube and I was initially like, oh, I'll really have to give these guys a try. They are so happy. I was like, I'm sure that there must be some sort of like trap here. Um, but no, they're actually like so genuinely lovely people. They do food reviews, they get in different speakers. And again, that they help approach different vegan topics and difficulties with being vegan. Um, so that's what I really appreciate about them. And there are two more unknown um, ones that I really want to bring up as well. Okay, I'm really really bad at pronouncing this, but it's Dem Demel Demel Zaz Delights. Um, it's hard to pronounce. I've got her Insta just up on my phone right now. Um, so her channel is very useful as well when it comes to reviewing vegan um beauty products. I really really like her content and she's really positive as well and I just I really appreciate the work that she does and she's actually just recently become the new editor of the Vegan New Zealand magazine so that's amazing. Um, and the next one I want to mention as well is Mariel Hatter. Um, she, <laughs> she's such a lovely person that also shares like the same Disney obsession and she really is so talented with her makeup like it's more like so she has like these fantasy looks but then she's also got very wearable looks and um, like her sense of humor everything she's just she's a lovely lovely person so there you have it that is all of my favorites of 2018 I hope that this video has been useful if you do want to see how I created this makeup look then um, just subscribe to my channel because I'll be coming up with that very soon for my New Year's Eve get ready with me um, and yeah I hope that you have a lovely week Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know what your favorites were for this year because then I'll know what to next add to my shopping cart because we all know I've got an addiction here to makeup. There is no secret about that. If you've ever seen me apply makeup, that reaction is not fake. <laughs> it is oh so very real. So I hope that you guys have had a lovely 2018 and I'm wishing you a really good 2019 as well um, because this is the end of what has been a crazy year when it comes to worldwide stuff that's gone on. But a lot of good things have still happened. A lot of good things have still come out and I'm hoping that you've had good things happen in your life as well. So I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care and um, Go shopping, because now I've given you a lot of inspiration for stuff that you can buy. I'm sorry for your wallet, but um, hopefully you'll get money as a Christmas gift. <laughs> Bye lovelies.